What is charging by induction? What is that exactly? Before we answer that question, let's talk about charging by conduction. So let's say if we have a metal sphere and we have a rod that's charged. Let's say this is negatively charged and the metal sphere is neutral. Now, once we bring the metal sphere in contact with the negatively charged rod, the metal sphere is going to be charged by conduction. Some of the electrons in the metal rod, they're going to move to the metal sphere. And once we separate them, the metal sphere will have a net negative charge. So that's charging by conduction. In order to charge an object by conduction, the two objects must be in contact. If the two metal objects don't make contact, then you can't charge by conduction. Now, when charging by induction, no contact is involved, particularly with a charged object. So this time, the metal rod, it's not going to touch the metal spheres. Now, these two metal spheres, initially, they're in contact with each other, but they're neutral. Once we bring the negatively charged metal rod closer to the first metal sphere, what's going to happen is the electrons in these two metal spheres, they are going to be repelled by the electrons in the metal rod. So the electrons are going to move away from the metal rod. So what's going to happen is on sphere number two, it's going to develop a net negative charge. As for a sphere number one on the left, because electrons are leaving that sphere, it's going to develop a net positive charge. Now let's say we take this sphere and move it to the right. So we disconnect these two metal spheres. And then afterward, once we disconnect them, let's remove the negatively charged metal rod. Once we do that, the sphere on the left is going to have a net positive charge. The sphere on the right, it's going to have a net negative charge. And so that is charging by induction. We were able to charge these two metal spheres using another charge object, but there was no contact involved between these two metal spheres and the negatively charged metal rod. So that's charging by con induction. It's when you have a charged object and you use it to induce a charge in another object without the charged object touching the neutral object. Now let's consider another example. So let's say we have a neutral metal sphere, just like before, but this time we only have one metal sphere, not two. And we're going to have a negatively charged metal rod. Now, as we bring this negatively charged metal rod closer to the metal sphere, the electrons in the metal sphere, they are going to be repelled. And so they're going to move to the right. So on the right side, we're going to have a buildup of negative charge. On the left side, it's going to be electron deficient. So the left side is going to have positive charge. Overall, the metal sphere is still neutral, but notice that we have separation of charge. One side is positive, the other side is negatively charged. So at this point, it's said that it can be said that the metal sphere is polarized due to that separation of charge. Now, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take a metal wire and attach it to the right side of the metal sphere. Now, this metal rod is still on the left side. So now these electrons, they have somewhere to go. Because they're still being repelled by the negatively charged rod, what's going to happen is they're going to move away from the metal rod and to the ground or to the earth. Now, once we disconnect that wire 
and once we remove the metal rod so we're going to disconnect the wire first and then second we'll remove the metal rod we'll move it away from the metal sphere now because the metal sphere lost electrons some of the electrons went to the ground the metal sphere now has a net positive charge the ground has a net negative charge and so this is another example of charging by induction we took a neutral metal sphere and we put a positive charge on it using a negatively charged metal rod even though that negatively charged metal rod did not make any contact with the metal sphere so that's charging by induction it's using one charged object to induce a charge on another object without making any contact.